Here we have America's most patriotic Boy Scout of World War II in front of our Philadelphia Air Raid Warden's post the way it would have looked in 1945. Our Boy Scout is outfitted with his World War II uniform which was a khaki or a light olive drab type uniform, the campaign style hat with the first class insignia on it, the khaki shirt, breeches which were riding pants, short riding pants, also the long socks and brown shoes. Over on the left hand shoulder we have the community patch which is Lafayette, which would be Lafayette Hill, which is a suburb of Philadelphia, blow it the troop number patch, and then the Boy Scout Emergency Service patch. Now the Emergency Service Corps was exactly what it says. It was an emergency corps in case of emergencies, specially trained Boy Scouts, and there were several requirements to belong to the Emergency Service Corps. Number one, you had to be at least 15 years old. Number two, you had to be at least first class rank. You had to have so many merit badges, including the safety, public service, firemanship merit badge, among others, and also had to be able to run a mile in eight and a half minutes, climb a 20-foot rope in so many seconds. That's the Emergency Service Corps. Now we go to our left-hand pocket of the Boy Scout uniform. That is the pocket that the official Boy Scout awards were mounted on. Awards that were won or given to the Boy Scout during World War II. If you look at the top, the three stars with the green background indicate that that Boy Scout had been in Boy Scouts at least three years. Three complete years. Below it, you see the award for one year perfect attendance. So for one year, this Boy Scout made every meeting that they had. Now if we come down a little bit further, over on the left hand side we see the red medal. That is the Eisenhower Waste Paper Award. Now that was awarded to Boy Scouts that collected more than 1,000 pounds of waste paper. Now waste paper was very valuable during World War II because it was used in making cardboard that was used in containers to ship everything from artillery shells to hand grenades to radios to food. So waste paper was very valuable during World War II, and this Boy Scout was awarded the Eisenhower Waste Paper Award. Over here, the other medal is the green medal. That is the MacArthur Garden Award. Now that was used or given to Boy Scouts that planted victory gardens that were at least 400 square feet, produced a lot of vegetables, and was inspected by the Boy Scout Council. That's the MacArthur Garden Award. And then in the center in khaki, we have the Boy Scout's first class patch, which was the rank that this Boy Scout was at the time this, he wore this uniform. We come over to the right hand pocket. This was the area of temporary badges on the Boy Scout uniform. Now the Boy Scout Council during World War II said that Boy Scouts that belong to any patriotic organization or receive any patriotic awards could wear them on their uniform for the duration, which meant at the end of World War II all these had to be removed. Now if you look at these awards that our Boy Scout won, right at the top we have the High School Victory Corps, the Aviation Section, the three Bladed propeller indicates the aviation section of the high school victory corps and that was a high school program of course devoted to aviation, flying, airplanes, that type of thing. If we come down through here we look at this civil defense CD, civil defense or civilian defense award. Our Boy Scout was a messenger for civil defense during World War II. Of course it was called civilian defense during World War II. He received this award for so many hours of service. Over here on the other side, we have the ribbon for the seventh war loan. Now, what these war loans were, were bond drives. So during the entire World War II, savings stamps and savings bonds were sold. But there were periods of time when there were big drives to really sell more. This was the seventh war loan which was right toward the end of World War II. It was the last war loan during the war. He received an award for that, for selling so many saving bonds during that time period. 
Here is the button that he had when he ran around selling bonds from the U.S. Treasury. It says, Bond Seller Volunteer 7th War Loan. So this is the 7th War Loan Award. Over here on this side, we have the button Aircraft Warning Service. Now during World War II, the United States had what was called the Aircraft Warning Service, which were observation posts that called in all the aircraft that they saw flying overhead. Every aircraft that came over, they would call into the filter center that the aircraft was flying overhead. Now that was more or less our radar during World War II because we did not have any sophisticated radar. So the warning volunteers would call into the filter center and the filter center then would track all these aircraft throughout the United States. It was used on both the East Coast and West Coast of the United States. Here is the wings for the aircraft warning service that our Boy Scout was awarded and it says Observer, Pennsylvania. So he was an aircraft warning service observer for Pennsylvania or in Pennsylvania. Right below it was an award that he got for merit for the aircraft warning service. So he did a lot with the aircraft warning service. Come down here, our last patch down here is the Victory Food Volunteers. That was a high school program that, just like it says, you helped out in gardens. So our Boy Scout was awarded all these awards during World War II. Now you wonder, how did he have enough time to get all these awards? Well, he was very resourceful. And what he did is he took requirements from one and used it as a requirement on the other. So he accomplished two things at one time. Okay, if you come over here to the Garden Award, and then over here to the Victory Food Volunteers, some of the qualifications were the same. So if he did one qualification for one, it also was a qualification for the other. The same with the aircraft warning service. Some of the requirements for it were the same as the requirements for the High School Victory Corps aviation section. So our Boy Scout combined requirements, was, which was very, very smart on his part. World War II scarf that was square during World War II also has the World War II dark slide that was used during that period. It come down, he has the World War II metal buckle. It was not brass. It was made out of steel. So it was a steel buckle. The World War II flashlight or pre-World War II flashlight and also the World War II Office of Civilian Defense messenger's pouch that was used for messages as the messenger went from post to post. Here on the right hand side of the arm we have our Panther Patrol patch up at the top. Our Boy Scout, Boy Scout belonged to the Panther Patrol. And here we have a very rare patch, the PT or Paper Trooper patch from the War Production Board. Now that was a high school program that had to do with high school students collecting waste paper. Now our Boy Scout again combined requirements. A requirement for the Eisenhower Waste Paper Award was also used as a requirement for our PT or Paper Trooper Award. Down here at the bottom we have our six merit badges, World War II merit badges. Among them, safety, first aid, firemanship, pioneering, personal, personal health, and swimming. Now if you look at these merit badges, they might look like they're sewed on pretty poorly. But what I have to tell you, during World War II, the merit badges were issued square cut. So you can imagine a Boy Scout trying to sew a circle from a square cut patch. 